Hi, my name is Josh Kuhn. I'm one of the curators of The Donkey Show. And uh, as you're walking into the space, uh, you'll notice that there's music playing in the room, uh, a collection of about 39 songs or so that are playing on a random order. Uh, and these are all uh, U.S. popular songs uh, dating back to about the mid-1920s uh, up through uh, the mid-1980s. And they are all uh, pop songs that were in some form or another written about or under the sway of uh, the myth and romance of Tijuana, Mexico. I don't think any of them say Tijuana, but one or two might, but it's mostly the romance of Tijuana and what happens down Mexico way uh, from early blues and jazz recordings uh, all the way back to 1939, uh, the Gene Autry cowboy classic south of the border which actually got its start from a tourist postcard sent from tijuana uh and on the back of the postcard it said having a good time uh south of the border down mexico way and it became this whole industry uh speaking of industries we of course have music from herb alpert and the tijuana brass which started a whole 1960s tijuana pop romance industry uh, and in between uh, all sorts of songs written about the experience of crossing the border and many in many cases the fantasies of what um, lies waiting for tourists uh, in terms of uh, sexual release and party release and freedoms uh, once you cross uh, the US Mexico border line and in the vitrine uh, we kind of have some examples of the uh, music and nightclub entertainment ephemera that's associated with these songs uh, everything from uh, Herb Alpert concert posters uh, to local TJ advertisements for the various nightclubs, burlesque houses, uh, supper clubs, and cafes that featured music. Uh, and that featured music, uh, uh, really mostly local Mexican, northern Mexican uh, jazz combos and go-go bands and early rock and roll bands. Uh, we've got some examples of sheet music from some of these early songs that are playing in the room. Uh, and perhaps most interestingly and most importantly, of course, the donkey show is um, kind of, you know, plays on this, um, this, this double meaning of the donkey show, the, the, the urban legend of the donkey sex show uh, that no one has been able to actually prove. But of course, everyone knows someone who's been. Uh, and the reality of the donkeys that most tourists spend their time with, which are the donkeys on the photo carts that are featured throughout uh, the room. Uh, but we do have just one example, not of donkey, of a donkey show, donkey sex show, but of an alleged gorilla sex show. And so there's a photo and an advertisement uh, for what looks to be someone in a very large gorilla suit um, simulating a good time with a dancer in a nightclub. Uh, and so the, sh the, the music and the musical ephemera for the show really is, is, is all part of the larger story about the power of myth and the power of romance. Uh, in both confusing the identities of what Mexico is, but also cementing the identities of what Americans wanted Mexico to actually be.